Hello everybody, today I'm going to share a tutorial on how to crochet a mushroom looking box. So here is the box. You can keep a lot of stuff in here. Like you can keep anything that you like. And it's pretty small and something rather cute, you know. And as I was crocheting, I realized that it looked a bit like a mushroom which is very very adorable so i hope you would enjoy and learn something new while learning how to crochet it and this is something that i would use or like use to keep my erasers in or my sister wanted it so i just gave it to her yeah let's get on to how to make the or how to crochet this mushroom looking box let's get started so the things that you'll need to make the box is yarn i'm using the same color um like two rolls of the same color a crocheting hook and a pair of scissors but i lost my pair so i'm just using this thing it came with the crocheting hook so i guess it is used but I prefer scissors anyways these are the few things that you'll need and let's get started firstly grab the end of two of the yarns that you're using and the reason why I'm using um two is because uh, my yarn that I use for crocheting is pretty thin so if I use two and wrap, wrap them around each other it will increase the width of it so I'm just using two in order to have a bit more of a stable box so firstly go and tie a knot so that the two yarns do not like separate in between when you are trying to make the basket and then it does not really have to be a big knot or you can just skip this but i do it just to ensure i don't make a mistake and after doing so i'm gonna go and make a slip stitch slip knot i guess so i just wrap it around two fingers and then hold the middle of it and then go and pull the yarn through it yeah so i go and pull the yarn through it and then i grab my crocheting hook and adjust the size after that what we are going to do is we are going to chain six so this is basically the base of the basket that we're making so chain six one two three four five and six after chaining six we are going to go through the first uh stitch that we created so go through there and do a slip stitch after doing a slip stitch what i'm going to do is that i'm going to increase one so i'm going to chain one and after chaining one i'm going to go through the circle that we just created so this is the first stitch this is where we are going to go through here and crochet all around it and it depends on how big your circle is so i'm just going to go and crochet all around it so that's one two three and then four and five and then six seven eight nine and ten so eleven here is 11 and just one more to make it 12 so after crocheting 12 which completes the entire circle i'm going to go through the first stitch right here this is the first stitch this is the increase chain that we did this one is the first stitch i'm going to go through there and make a slip stitch and then increase one so this was round one and for round two, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the same stitch in which um, 
I increased one so this stitch over here and crochet two single crochet so one single crochet go to the same stitch and crochet another one and in the next stitch I'm going to crochet one and then in the next stitch after that I'm going to crochet two so one go into the same stitch crochet another one so that's two and then in the next one crochet one so that's the pattern for the second round you crochet two and then one two one two one two one let me get back after completing this round so here i am finishing off my second round i'm going to go ahead and slip stitch in this um first crochet so going to that and slip stitch and then chain one and now we're going to do our third round and in order to do that we are going to go to the, the next um stitch which is this stitch right here and crocheted two single crochets so go into that stitch and crocheted one single crochet single crochet and then another single crochet that's two into the next two stitches we're going to crochet one single crochet so one and another one and then in this stitch here we're going to crochet two single crochets one go into the same stitch and do another one so that's two single crochet in the same stitch and then in the next two stitches we will do one single crochet so that's the pattern for the third round which is like two one one two one one and let me just complete this entire um round and come back so here i am completing off my third round so i'm gonna go to the first single crochet over here first stitch and do a slip stitch and then i'm gonna chain one so now for the next round which is round four going to go do is that we're going to go to the next stitch over here and crochet about two single crochet so this is one single crochet go to the same stitch and then do another one single crochet and then here are two single crochet in the same stitch and then in the next three stitches we're going to do single crochets so one and then two and three and in the fourth stitch again we're going to do two single crochet so one single crochet in this stitch and then going into the same stitch which is right here and doing another single crochet so that's the pattern for fourth round what you do is two single crochet and then three one single crochet which is like two one 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 two one 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 two let me just get back after completing this entire round so here i am completing off my fourth round and i go to the first stitch i created first stitch that you did and do a slip stitch and then chain one and now what we are going to do is we're going to go to the next chain right here next stitch and do two single crochet there so one single crochet going to the same stitch do two single crochet so for round five after doing two single crochet what you're going to do is you're going to make one single crochet in the next four stitch so here we go one two three and four so after doing four single crochet we're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch so one single crochet going to the same stitch in here going into it and doing another one single crochet so that's basically the pattern for round five what you do is you make two single crochet at first crochet four single crochet in each stitch 
and then do two single crochet in the same stitch and then again four single crochet two single crochet in the same stitch that continues until you reach the end so let me just come back after doing so so here i am closing off my fifth round i'm gonna go and find the first single crochet in here and then do a slip stitch and then i'm gonna chain one so after chaining one i'm gonna go to the next stitch as you have guessed it we are going to do this. we're gonna do two single crochet in the same stitch stitch over here and then in the next five stitches we're going to do one single crochet so one two three four and five so after doing five single crochet in the sixth stitch we're going to do two single crochets so one oh no so one single crochet and then go into the same stitch and do another one single crochet so that's the pattern for the sixth round what you do is that you crochet two single crochet in the same stitch and then in the next five stitches you do five single crochet and then in the sixth stitch you do two single crochet in the same stitch repeat that all over till you reach the um end and let me just come back after doing this round so here i am closing off round six so i'm gonna go to the first single crochet in here and do a slip stitch so after completing round six, what I'm going to do is that I'm not going to chain one, but rather go into the first stitch of each of the stitches. So like there's the front loop and uh, so there's the front loop and then the back loop. And you're supposed to go to the front loop and do a single crochet so you can make a height. And like the sixth stitch, uh, sixth round was the last round and now i'm just gonna make the height of the basket so make a crochet from the front loop so this is two loops we're gonna go to the front loop grab a yarn pull through the front loop grab your yarn and pull through two loops and that's how we're gonna make the height of the box so let me just complete this entire um round in which i just go into the front loops of each of the stitches and do a single crochet so let me just come back after doing so so i completed the box like the bigger portion of the box and i did 12 rounds for the height of it and we have did six rounds and now to make the um lid of this box what i'm gonna do is that i'm going to repeat the same process in which i did the uh, circle and the height so uh, this time instead of doing six rounds i'm going to do seven rounds so it is a bit more bigger and fits the edge or the mouth of this um basket i guess so um after doing seven rounds in in like round seven what you're going to do is that you will have seven single crochets between every two single crochet in the same stitch and after doing round seven you're going to go into the first like how we did here to make the increasing height of the box we are going to go to the first um loop of our crochets and add on to the width and do it four times so it would be like of this much size in order to make the lid so i will come back after doing so and you could just reverse the video to um see how it is done since it's basically the same process so let me just come back after doing so here you can see i completed doing the seventh round for the circle like the top of the lid and i did four rounds for the closing of it 
and now our basket is ready so this one has six round at the bottom and it matters since it's going to contribute to how you can close your basket so let me just close it or put it on top and there you go you have your basket and you don't really need to worry about the fringes in here like since they're just blending in or you could just tuck them under or pull them through the hole on top and what i would like normally do is go in and add a flower on the top but as i was finishing off the entire um box i realized that it looked a bit like a mushroom so it's pretty cute and instead of putting anything here i would just keep it like this yeah and your box like mushroom looking box is ready thank you for watching please like share subscribe and comment i am steer i love crocheting i would like to share more videos in the future till then bye and thank you